al projecte AILBIT, Empowering Young Language Brokers for Inclusion in Diversity, és una associació estratègica cofinançada pel programa Erasmus Plus de la Unió Europea, en la qual participen quatre països europeus. El projecte parteix de tres grans objectius, que són, en primer lloc, conèixer i entendre una mica millor la intermediació lingüística per part de joves i adolescents de països europeus, quan parlem d'intermediació lingüística ens referim a les tasques de traducció i interpretació que puguin fer aquests joves i adolescents. El segon objectiu és justament poder proposar recomanacions i orientacions a l'hora d'enfocar aquesta qüestió també a nivell europeu. I finalment el que seria potser el gran objectiu del projecte és elaborar i dissenyar recursos de tota mena que es puguin fer servir a les aules, però que també es puguin fer servir de manera autònoma i que permetin, a través d'aquest exemple de la intermediació lingüística per part de, de joves i adolescents, treballar aspectes com la diversitat lingüística i cultural a, als països europeus. Jo soc la Mireia Vargas Urpí i seré la coordinadora d'aquest projecte liderat per la Universitat Autònoma de Barcelona. My name is Dr. Sarah Crafter and I am a professor in cultural developmental psychology. I work in the School of Psychology and Counseling at the Open University in the United Kingdom. My research area is broadly about children and young people and how they experience migration along with their families and what impact it has on them, particularly as they make that transition through to adulthood. Uh, my research falls on two strands mainly. One of those is child language brokering, which is the topic of this project, and the other strand is working with unaccompanied minors and how they care for each other as they navigate asylum and welfare systems in the UK. In terms of my language brokering work, um, I've worked on, on two major projects. The first with Tony Klein and Evangelia Procopio focused on child language brokering in school and the role of school as a particular context for how that impacts on the practices and how it impacts on young people's experiences. The other study I did was with Humira Iqbal and in this study we were very interested in how um, language brokering across different spaces and contexts influences a sense of belonging and their sense of identity and we were very interested in, in that project um, exploring how young people talk about managing certain different conflictual or sensitive situations in and across different contexts of language brokering. Um, I'm Evangelia Procopio, I'm a senior lecturer at the University of Northampton. Uh, I'm uh, the lead uh, for the uh, diversity, community and identity research group in the faculty of uh, health education and society. My uh, main teaching and research interest focuses on the impact of uh, immigration and cultural change uh, on identities, uh, families and communities, um, on the construction of diverse childhoods, and I'm particularly interested in the ways uh, children and young people with uh, multiple uh, cultural affiliations, construct and negotiate uh, their identities within culturally diverse uh, contexts. Um, this uh, interest has led me to be involved uh, in a number of relevant projects such as the Child Language Brokering in School project which was funded uh, uh, by uh, Nafield Foundation and for this project we uh, aimed to uh, uh, explore the influence of school in the language brokering experience. Uh, I'm currently uh, uh, working with uh, the Northampton team uh, for the Child Up project. This is a Horizon 2020 project which aims to improve uh, immigrants immigrant children's uh, integration and uh, social participation in the educational and um, uh, social care systems. 
uh, and I'm also doing participatory uh, research uh, for the uh, ESRC funded uh, project Children Caring on the Move, uh, which uh, aims to explore the caring relationships uh, and caring practices of separated uh, child migrants. I'm Raquel Antonini from the Department of Interpreting and Translation of the University of Bologna and I am the coordinator of the Imedio Pueri research project on uh, child language brokering. Uh, I've been working on this topic for 12 years now and I'm really proud to be part of this partnership because our main aim has always been that of giving visibility to this phenomenon and raise awareness about what child language brokering is and what kind of impact both positive and negative it can have on the lives of these children and their families. Hallo, ich bin Marta Stevet Grossi, ich komme aus dem Romanischen Seminar der Leibniz Universität Hannover äh, und bin von Hause aus Übersetzungswissenschaftlerin und Dolmetschwissenschaftlerin. Äh, ich habe aber im Bereich Community Interpreting und Migrationslinguistik promoviert. Meine Dissertation, äh, in meiner Dissertation ging, ging es äh, um die sprachliche Lage der äh, damaligen sogenannten Gastarbeiter und Gastarbeiterinnen, äh, die aus der spanischen zweisprachigen Region Galicien kamen. Und wichtig war es mir dabei, äh, diese Formen von nicht professionellen Dolmetschens und Übersetzens äh, zu, zu beschreiben. Außerdem äh, bin ich äh, seit Jahren in der Dolmetscherinnen-Ausbildung äh, von Migranten und Migrantinnen auf kommunaler Ebene. Es freut mich wirklich sehr, äh, an diesem Projekt teilnehmen zu dürfen. Nicht zuletzt, äh, weil wir äh, am Romanischen Seminar der Leibniz-Uni Hannover herangehende Lehr Lehrerinnen und Lehrer äh, für die Sekundarstufe bilden und ausbilden. Ich bin zuverlässig, dass mit diesem Projekt wir zum Empowerment und zur sozialen Anerkennung von jungen Sprachmittlern und Sprachmittlerinnen beitragen werden können. Ich bin Jordi Arnal von Canada Games. Mit Canada Games werden wir das Videospiel des Projekts entwickeln, das wir gemeinsam mit Miras zusammen entwickeln. Wir sind in in diesem Projekt Europäer y desarrollar un videojuego en el que facilitar, esperamos, a aquellos eh, chicos y chicas que cada día se enfrentan al broken language.